Today we are learning how to solve problems by using the order of operations. Now we learned the order of operations goes parentheses first, then exponents, then multiplication and division, and finally addition and subtraction. So let's use the order of operations to solve this equation. Well first we look for parentheses, and we see them right here. But inside of these parentheses, we see two different operations, addition and multiplication. Well, inside of the parentheses, we will follow the same order of operations as we are for the whole equation. That tells us that multiplication goes before addition, so we will multiply first. 2 times 3 is 6. Then we can bring down the rest of our equation. Now, we still have the parentheses in this equation, so they get solved next. 4 plus 6 is 10. Now there are no more parentheses, we can bring down our equation and keep solving. There are no exponents, so we look for multiplication or division. Next we multiply 10 times 5, which is 50, and with no more multiplication or division, we move on to addition or subtraction. Our last step is to add 6 plus 50 to get a final answer of 56. Now let's practice one of these together. Let's solve this equation using the order of operations. Well, I can look for parentheses and see them right here. But inside of these parentheses, what should I solve first? Remember, inside of parentheses, we follow the same order of operations as the full equation. We see an exponent, an addition, and a subtraction. You can see in our order of operations that exponents come first. So first we will solve 3 squared. That equals 9. Now what should I solve next? We still have parentheses, and we see both addition and subtraction inside. When you have both addition and subtraction, we work left to right. So we'll solve 9 plus 5 first. That gives us 14. Now what should I solve next? I still have parentheses, so I solve 14 minus 4 next. That gives me 10. Then I bring down the rest of my equation. Finally, there are no more parentheses. I can check that there are no more exponents. So my last step will be to multiply 10 times 2 to get a final answer of 20. Here's another problem to practice with. Let's solve this equation using the order of operations. Well, what should I solve first? First, I check for parentheses, and I see them right here. 8 minus 2 is 6. Then I can bring down my equation. What should I solve next? Well, there are no more parentheses, but I can see there is an exponent. I will solve 2 to the power of 3, which is 8. Then I can bring down the rest of my equation. There are no more exponents. Solve the rest of this on your own. What is the solution to this equation? Well, next I do multiplication and division. So I will multiply 6 times 8, which is 48. Then my last step, there's no more multiplication, no more division, so I add. I add 3 plus 48 to get a final answer of 51. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. What is the solution to this equation? First we solve parentheses. Inside of the parentheses, we'll do multiplication first. 3 times 4 is 12. Then, we still have our parentheses, so we'll solve 12 minus 6 to get 6. Now there are no more parentheses. We check there are no exponents, so next is multiplication or division. We see division, and 6 divided by 3 is 2. There's no more multiplication, no more division, so our last step is adding. We add 5 plus 2 to get our final answer is 7. Now here's your last problem for this video. What is the solution to this equation? First you should have solved parentheses. 2 plus 1 is 3. Then, you see an exponent, 5 to the power of 2. You should have solved that to get an answer of 25. Bring down the rest of your equation. Next, you would multiply. 25 times 3 is 75. And the final step is to subtract. 75 minus 4 gives you a final answer of 71. Today, you learned how to solve equations using the order of operations.